think uh, a lot of people are comparing this to Bitcoin, but it's completely diff different. Bitcoin is about, you know, betting that this, this asset's going to go up, whereas Libra is way more ambitious. I mean, it literally threatens the governments that issue currency, the banks that store it, and the actual transmission network. So I actually don't think people understand how disruptive this could be if it really takes off. Does it allow you to more easily get into markets outside the U.S. if you eventually choose to do that? Or is there anything you'd even be interested in building on top of domestically? Well, so, so for companies like Tally, who are, are not a bank but are, are doing financial work, um, it's, it's actually a, a really big disruptor. Because right now, just as an example, we uh, announced Tally Save, which is an automated saving service that uh, gives people points for setting money aside, and it's all automated. But for us to do that, we had to partner with a bank to get the FDIC insurance because it's illegal for a non-bank entity to hold funds, whereas Libra, you know, anybody can build a wallet on top of it. You can store value. You can transmit that value across borders. I mean, I really think that this, uh, if, if it takes off, it could become a worldwide currency, which is uh, pretty disruptive even for government's ability to, to control access to funds. When you say if it takes off, yeah. what are the hurdles? Is, uh, it, is it regulatory? Is it consumer adoption? It, is it just internal execution? You know, this is a horrible time. Like, literally, they couldn't have picked a worse time. I mean, Consumers, we're wondering, do we want to trust Facebook, right? So that's going to be headwind to adoption. And then the other is, I mean, the regulators are sharpening their knives right now. And it's just like you just gave them a bigger stake to cut into. So uh, I think uh, it's going to, from an outsider perspective, it's going to be interesting. But uh, I think uh, I'm rooting for it because at the end of the day, it could be, uh, could be good for consumers. Do they have to trust Facebook? I mean, you could create your own tally wallet, couldn't you? And just have Libra in it, and Facebook's name doesn't have to get mentioned. Oh, well, but look at the news. Facebook launches Libra. Like, I get they set up this consortium, this uh, this this group of uh, independent folks. But I think most consumers are going to associate this with Facebook. So I think I think that's uh, that's going to be some headwinds. But my, my bet is it'll take off, because but what's going to happen immediately is remittance internationally. I bet you within months of launching, this will be the primary way people get money out of first world countries to other places, because it's immediately secure and then I think you're gonna see a really slow adoption at the point of sale for being able to pay for things and uh, and pay bills and stuff so so it could be a slow slog from uh, from there if in I mean, this is big yeah. picture here yeah. but if entire countries and currencies are being dis intermediated yeah why would they allow Facebook to operate in their country you know I mean I think China if I were China I'd say absolutely not I mean this because this would be uh, you know the perfect way to get money out of China so I think that there's gonna be uh, gonna be headwinds there but I mean for some countries this very well could displace their entire currency so uh, I, I don't think people are giving it enough credit what's driving your business right now the, the pitch starting off was save money if you're dealing with credit cards credit cards are horrible to deal with I think a lot of people can embrace yep. that is that still what's driving because now you're expanding into savings right it, correct so, so so our view is that eventually all of us are going to have a completely automated service that can do all of our thinking and, and work financially so just look at the ultra wealthy they have family offices that do all of their work and all of their thinking to getting them to their goals and we've built a platform capable of doing that and our first product was the the, the first and only automated debt manager now we've expanded to savings and with the uh, 50 million dollars of funding from Andreessen Horowitz we're going to be rolling out more automated financial services this year so for, for us things like like Libra are really empowering because right now we have to integrate with this antiquated financial system and and Libra theoretically could make it so it's just you know zero cost to pay bills transmit money mm -hmm. so things like this uh, could be good for us